Hey, this is Excel Basics number 10, part two. In number 10, we talked about the sort feature. In this quick short, I want to talk about the sort array function. Here's the folder we downloaded and unzipped. For this video, we're going to open up the sort file. Now in video number 10, we talked about sorting the table and how records remain intact when you sort a particular column. We talked about how to sort data when it's not in a table. And we talked about the order of which items appear in a sort when you have mixed data. Now let's talk about the sort array function. Now here's the data set we're going to use as we learn about the sort array function. And each record represents a lap time on a racetrack. Now, of course, in an Excel table, we have sort and filter abilities right at the top. But why in the world would we switch over to the sort function? Well, the same reason we've had the entire class so far. Formulas are the only feature that updates instantly when source data changes. And that's exactly what we want here. I want to keep adding records and always have a table that shows me the fastest times at the top. Now in array, we can put one or more columns. I'm just going to put the times, and by default, it does A to Z. Close parentheses and enter. We get the fastest times to the top. Using the same default settings, now I want two columns. It will always, by default, whatever the first column is, do A to Z. And so now I get the first column A to Z. But really, I want the second column, so F2. Now we can look at the next argument. The index is which column do you want sorted? So I'm going to put 2, close parentheses. And this is our result. When I add new records, now we instantly have a new fastest racer, Dr. D. Now I'm going to control Z, Z. Now, this is the final report, but let me show you a few other amazing things we can do with the sort function. Now, what if I wanted to sort Z to A, the slowest times at the top? Now, if you remember group by and pivot by, when we wanted Z to A sort, we simply put a minus sign. Positive meant A to Z, minus meant Z to A. Positive 2 to sort the second column A to Z. Minus 2 to sort the second column, z to a. But guess what? The sort function was invented years before group by. And I guess Microsoft hadn't thought through the best way to change the order of a sort. When they created this function, they actually added a third argument. And look at that, positive, negative. So if I put minus 1, now the slowest times are on top. F2. Now, what if I want to keep the defaults and have the first column sorted A to Z, and then the second column within the first column sort have that sort A to Z? Well, we can use array syntax, curly bracket, say, hey, the first column A to Z, comment, and then the second end curly bracket, close, control, enter. The entire first column is A to Z, but within each group, I have a little mini sort, A to Z. A to Z. Now again, if we were further through history and we had group by and pivot by, we would just put minus signs in front of both of those if we wanted to sort Z to A. But watch how we have to do it in sort. We're going to have to use this argument right here, comma. And I want both of them, Z to A, so minus 1. And now this is the major sort. And then within this sort, time is sorted both Z to A. F2, you also can sort by column. That's the last argument. But all I want for this sorted race report, column 2, A to Z. And we use formulas when we want our solution to instantly update. Zane is currently the fastest, but now when we add new data, Dr. D and Isaac are the fastest. Now, one of the more common uses for the sort function is when we use it together with unique. I'm going to get a unique list of racers. That list is not sorted, and I can add the sort function. You can either put it before unique, or you can put it on the inside. Now, about a year ago, I did a video, and I timed the differences between nesting unique and sort, or nesting sort and then unique. 
And it turned out that when sort was on the inside, kind of counterintuitive, on big data, the formulas calculated more quickly than when we had sort and then unique. Now, one other example, what if we want to sort not by one or two, but three different columns? I want to sort track, and then within track, racer, and then within racer, time. Right now, I'm only sorting by the time column, backspace. And in sort index, we use array syntax, open curly bracket, one, two, three, close curly bracket. Close, and bam, this entire column is sorted A to Z. And then within this group, racer A to Z. And finally, within this group, I can see Ella's fastest to longest times. And remember, the order matters. If I do 3, 2, 1, this gives me a completely different sort. And that's not what I want. Control Z, I want 1, 2, 3. All right, so when you need that solution to instantly update, sort array function to the rescue.